up to the Race to the Clouds, we have put together a series of Pikes Peak Hill Climb flashbacks. Some of the memorable moments and memorable people that I recall from my nearly 30 years of covering the race. And tonight's flashback takes us to the 2004 Hill Climb. Long before he was cheating on Sandra Bullock, Jesse James took a crack at Pikes Peak. His week at Pikes Peak was chronicled on his Discovery Channel television show. He was just becoming a big star at the time and was a huge hit at Pikes Peak. Here's how I described it back then. I don't think I've ever seen one of the slowest drivers be a fan favorite. But I think the most popular driver this year, TV personality Jesse James, the host of the popular Monster Garage on the Discovery Channel. And while he was slow, he did make it to the top, although he needed a little oxygen when he got there. So how did it feel? What, what it was like? It was bitching. It was just, man, I mean. Was it everything you expected? It was awesome. It was great, man. All the fans, like, lying in the corners with West Coast Chopper shirts. It was like. <laughs> he is quite a character. Now, we put together a series of Pikes Peak Hill Climb flashbacks, including the infamous Robbie Unser blow-up. You can see them all 